What? Bear. Where? Bear. My hair? Where's your where's your hair? Where's Alice's hair? Want some? <laughs> All right, let's get you a bite. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Are you eating some, some quiche? Do you want more? More? <laughs> Is that Alice? <laughs> Yep. Good morning. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's Alice and Mama. That's my book, yeah. So today is the last day of the readathon. It's so crazy to think that a week ago we were both sick and I was like having a hard time with Alice because she was like, just wanting to be held all the time and crying all the time. Thankfully, it's gone back to how she normally is, where we go a lot of places and have a good time. I am going to finish my book. It looks like I have two hours left in my audiobook. Yeah, I'm 52%. Oh, don't eat that. And it is to clean the house today, do the laundry. I am gonna start throwing in some laundry now. She'll go down for a nap at 10.30. So I think I'll start with like laundry and things that are easier to do while she's awake. I ate breakfast this morning and I'm drinking my coffee. I've been really trying to focus on eating breakfast within 60 minutes of me waking up and not drinking coffee until after I eat breakfast. So I'm trying to fix my metabolism and lose weight. And so that's one of the things that like my sister had recommended. How cute are these pajamas on Alice? These I think are my favorite pair. Also came from Once Upon a Child. I just think the purple flowers are so cute. Yeah, so cute. Hi, who's out there? I don't see anybody. Hi. Hey. You see some ghosts? Hi. Ghosts? Where's mama's nose? Where's my nose? No, it's good job. Let's go get Alice dressed, which is so fun now that we have all the new clothes. <laughs> Ew, don't grind your teeth. Ew. Ew, don't grind your teeth. Oh, fun bun. Fun bun. <laughs> What's the weather today? High of 72 and a low of 47. So, a lot of people were talking about like my clothing organization. <laughs> and I wanted to clarify because part of these clothes are folded and then part of them aren't. This is actually the first time that I haven't been folding all the clothes. If you are about to have a new baby, I highly recommend doing this where they're folded and not this, or at least in my opinion, I think so. Cause like her entire first year, I have been folding all the clothes. And the reason why I say that, that it works really well, the presser is from Ikea and the dividers are from Amazon, but you can always put it together how you want. But what I like is that I put things in categories. So it's like, these are pants, these are shorts, these are the short sleeve shirts. But why I recommend doing this for like smaller babies is when I wash clothes, like she wears the clothes and I wash them, I put them in the back. And then that makes sure that like, I'm always pulling from the front, wa you know, wearing, washing, putting in the back. And then you know that you're wearing all the clothes. You could see something and be like, oh, I didn't wear this yet. Let me make sure I wear that. Other thing that's really nice is being able to match. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna pick these pants and then you can easily see what shirt matches it. So yeah, I have been folding this way her entire life and it has been so easy. And I used to have labels, but I had borrowed a label maker. And then obviously with the next size, like I had changed stuff around. And so I actually just need to get masking tape because it the labels are helpful for Alvin when he's dressing her. He doesn't have to get confused then and he can be like, okay, yeah, like I'm gonna grab a t-shirt, I'm gonna grab a pant. Now, this was the first time that I didn't fold this stuff and 
I don't know if I'm going to like doing this. If I had a closet, I probably would hang the dresses, but in this room, we don't have a closet. And so I don't know. I just feel like you can't see everything and I feel like things are gonna get lost that I'm not gonna realize that she's worn. So I actually might go and fold all this stuff because that's what I've been doing. I just love being able to see everything because then I'm like, oh, I wanna wear this floral print or you haven't worn yellow in a while or we haven't worn this outfit yet. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that because I, I actually enjoy the baby laundry. I hate my own laundry and we pretty much hang all of our laundry, which is just so much easier than folding big people laundry. But for some reason, for the baby clothes, I really enjoy folding it and seeing exactly like what she has. I believe that this method is called like the Marie Kondo way of folding. And it is just so nice because you don't have to dig through stuff. You can just see it all in a single file. Now I can understand if I had like a bunch of kids, maybe it would get time consuming, but I need to do the trick that everyone does where they like watch a show while they fold laundry. I don't do that yet and maybe I should. And I feel like you'd even look forward to laundry even more, but I do think I am gonna like fold this stuff. Oh yeah, and the other thing was, I was gonna say, there I found this blue dress that my sister gave to me. Maybe, now this is nine to 12 months. So I think it would fit Alice like really well right now. Her party's in two weeks because we're doing it two weeks early. We're doing it Easter weekend. But this would be a cute Alice in Wonderland dress, don't you think? So have this beautiful one. Oh, and then I have this beautiful one. Like, which one do I do? And especially since it's Easter weekend, I feel like these are more Eastery dresses. You just have way too many cute clothes, Alice. All right, what should we wear today? So I think we should wear one of your tank top pants things again. Now I will say that the one I wore yesterday was kind of big on her. It was the 12 to 18 size, but I believe it came from Walmart because these two are ones that I got at clearance on, at Walmart last year. And I'm pretty sure that pink one had gone like with the set and Walmart clothes are always very wide on her. Like all of the footed pajamas that I had gotten when she was younger were always like very wide and big. These three are Old Navy, I think. So I'm gonna try these because the Old Navy stuff, yeah, that's Old Navy 12 to 18, Old Navy 12 to 18, and I think this one is too, yeah. So I'm gonna pick one of these three to wear today and we'll see how much better it fits. She wore pink yesterday, so let's not do the pink. Should we do, I kind of want to do the blue. I think the blue would be really cute. Do this one, this one even looks a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do that one since I can make sure I get good wear out of it since it looks smaller. All right, let's get you dressed. Woohoo! You wanna wear your clothes? My crazy's out my big old, my leg is all the way. I gotta jump, jump, jump my j The driver on the bus goes, move on back. Move on back. Thank you, baby. Oh, you found a gunky? <laughs> Look how cute your outfit is. You want Bun Bun? Oh, Bun Bun. Yeah, Bun Bun. <laughs> were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper 
started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing Mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now and I wanted you to know I'm getting ready to do her photo So I did this sign Chilling with my peeps And I have a little like baby bathtub thing With the blanket and all And I have a whole bunch of peeps That I'm gonna like spread around her and stuff so I guess first I'll open all the peeps and like dump them in this bag so that way I can like mix up the colors. The only problem is like I'm gonna have to work really fast because I don't want her to eat these. She actually has not had any sugar yet um, and I do not want her eating this like you know colorful probably really bad for you and set this up and hopefully i can get some good snaps she's just looking so cute in this outfit i totally even forgot that like whatever outfit i put on her was going to be the picture day outfit <laughs> but i just i just love it so much it's gonna be so cute yeah. oh thanks thank you Is it, oh, you don't want to be dirty? Mm. Oh, don't. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is messy. Huh? I wanted to show you guys um, what I have so far for Alice's Easter basket. This basket, by the way, I got at the dollar store for $1.25. And then I got this little uh, rabbit car at Goodwill for 10 cents. And then I bought um, the Itsy Bitsy Bunny, which we like this series. I've gotten this series before from the library, but different holidays. They have like Itsy Bitsy Reindeer and stuff but you sing it to an itsy bitsy spider. So I got that for her. And these are little like matching eggs, um, like shape shorter, shape sorters. So I got those for her because I had wanted these and I found them at TJ Maxx for like half the price. I'm gonna include like one more thing in her basket. Um, she really likes like bath toys and stuff. So I might look in to getting her um, like some more little bath toys for her to play with. All right, Alice and I are gonna come down to the Little Free Library uh, because I haven't put new books in it in a while. So every few weeks, I usually change out the books and stuff and put like fresh books in there. Um, I do always put bookmarks out, but I have a bunch of spring bookmarks coming. I think they come on Saturday. One of my friends, like I buy them from her. Okay, so I feel like most of these are ones that that I put in here so this um, this did not go as well normally a lot of people take all the ones I put in here but I guess this was just people weren't interested in all these titles so I'm gonna take them all out and we're gonna put a full uh, brand new um, thing and it looks like we have three bookmarks left so this is my little free library um, bookshelf so pretty much all of these books 
are ones that I'm putting in the little free library. There's a couple scattered, like some cookbooks and I think I just put the housewife on here because I didn't really have anywhere else to put it because my little bookshelf is filled down there. That's books that I'm reading. 99.9% .9 of the books on here are for the little free library. How about we put the Lost Girls of Willowbrook out there. I'll do that one. Let's pick an orange book. Let's do The Great Alone. So that way there's two historical fiction slash thriller for Beth. <laughs> Let's do um, Verity with the extra chapter since this was in the little free library and I took it out because someone else put it in there. Let's do bird books, I guess. How about like a horror? I have two copies of The Last Mrs. Parish. Maybe I should put one out um, because of the sequel coming out. Ooh, let's do a romance. Should we do that romance? What's this one? Let's do that, the rehearsal. And then let's do this, oops. Let's do this middle grade and then we'll put a baby book. I love you stinky face in there. I have a little stamp. So I always stamp the books or make sure that they're stamped. Just to say like this is, was a little free library book. So that way also people don't like, resell them. It's also cool to see then, you know, where the books have kind of gone. So perfect. I think it looks beautiful. I have a little light in here too that turns on like at night, um, which isn't really used during the summer, but during the winter, it actually worked out really well because people would stop when it's like dark out. So there's the little Strawberry? <laughs> Do you want to put it in the paper towel? You want to drop it? Here, put the strawberry right here. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> Are you eating it? Oh, you have cheese in your mouth. Chew it. Chew it. Good job, chew it. Man, it is crazy to think that eight days has gone by. I feel like the readathon just like flew by, but then at the same time, when I look back at like my day one vlog, I'm like, that felt like months ago. Last night, I finished my last book for my TBR, A Family Secret. I had actually finished my entire TBR for this readathon. I wanted to read four books and I read those four books and I actually had a really great reading experience. I had mostly high ratings, only one bummer. This ended up being a five-star read for me, but it will definitely be going down into one of the most disturbing books that I've read. This is a true story about Maureen, who at nine years old uh, started being sexually assaulted by her brother, her stepdad, and her mom. And that went on for so many years of her life. And like, I feel like if anything bad could have happened, 
it happened. Went through so many losses, so many bad things. I don't want to tell you everything because I feel like that's part of the great thing about reading memoir true stories is just being shocked at all the things that happen i just cannot believe the amount of terrible things that this lady went through or child went through teenager went through like the amount of things that she had to endure in her life before she even reached being 18 is just absolutely ridiculous. I would be very cautious before picking up this book. Like even though I rated it five stars, it is definitely not going to be for everybody. And it is very disgusting, very disturbing. She writes out what happened to her in great detail. So you're going to know exactly what happens and how it happens throughout her entire life. It's not like it's just glazed over. I was going to say this is my first five star fiction book of the year but it's actually it's like it's non-fiction still so it's like I have rated a couple books five stars so far this year and they're all non-fiction books. Years ago I would have never thought that I would be like a non-fiction memoir you know true story type of person but it really is one of my favorite genres to read. Just to do a quick recap this was for the prompt of highest rated on my TBR and I totally understand that. Like I totally, this deserves highest rated. I gave it the highest rating of five stars. So that totally makes sense to me. For Crying in H Mart, I rated that four stars and that was for the prompt of Goodreads Choice nominee slash winner. I believe that this was the winner of the memoir section a couple years ago. I read Verity and I'm giving it four stars and that one was for the like hyped on socials because we all know that Verity, well Colleen Hoover in general, is like super hyped on TikTok and I had read Verity years ago but I wanted to read it with the extra chapter and I will say my rating was bumped up more the second time I read it with the extra chapter so I do highly recommend rereading it with the extra chapter. And then the funniest one of all was The Lost Girls of Willowbrook was actually my five star prediction and I gave it two stars. It was my lowest rated book of the readathon. And it's just so funny to think that that was the one that I put in the five star prediction. But it definitely was totally the opposite of what I thought it was going to be. So yeah, that was unfortunate. A big thanks to Beth for doing daily vlogs with me in this readathon. Thank you to all of you for watching my videos, commenting on all of them. I will actually be picking the winner at the end of this video. And then there still is one more winner from this video, but obviously I won't be picking it in a video. I'll just be commenting to the person that actually wins. But yeah, I'm so excited that you guys participated. Let me know in the comments like how the readathon went for you. And yeah, I think that's it. I think we pretty much covered it all. So I'll see you guys in some videos really soon.